everybody. We are absolutely excited about our upcoming prayer revival taking place on the 11th of August from 7 p.m. until 10 p.m. It's going to be an exciting time as we pray together and seek God. But wait, there's more. Leading up to this amazing day, on the 7th of August until the 11th of August, every morning at 6 a.m., join us on Facebook or YouTube, where you will see our ladies encourage us and empower us. This is going to be an amazing time, so don't miss out. Like, comment, and share with friends and family. Let's make this an unforgettable experience as we prepare to pray. Good evening. My name is Nishi. Today I'm going to talk to you about prayer. Let us pray. Father, I come to you in the precious and holy name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that as I deliver this message, you will speak through me, Lord Jesus. Use me as, as an instrument, Father. In your name I pray. Amen. Now, coming to, to the topic of prayer. Prayer needs to be an essential part of our lives. Prayer plays a very important part in our lives as believers. It is a way in which we communicate with God and a way in which God communicates with us. It's telling God that we acknowledge Him as the God of our lives, as a supreme power, and that we need Him in our daily lives. Prayer brings us in close relationship with God and keeps us in close relationship with Him. There are certain points that I want to remind you of when it comes to prayer. The first point being, prayer requires faith. In Mark 11:25, it tells us that whatever we ask for in prayer, we should believe that we have received it and it will be ours. The next point is when you pray, remember to ask God for forgiveness and forgive those who have wronged you. When Jesus taught his disciples to pray in Luke chapter 11 and verse 4, he said, Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us. Point number three. Prayer helps us in our weaknesses and temptations through the Holy Spirit. We must seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit in our prayers. Romans chapter 8 and verse 26 says that the Holy Spirit helps us in our weaknesses and for we do not know what we should pray for, but the Holy Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. Luke chapter 22 and verse 46 on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he said to his disciples, Get up and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. Point number four, and I think this is the most important, is that we should pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 16 tells us this. Romans chapter 12 and verse 12 tells us, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 says, Don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Brethren, we are living in the last days, and I want to appeal to you today to pray and make prayer an important part of your lives. We live in a world that is cruel, and our families are under attack by the enemy. We need to take back what the devil has tried to steal from us and has stolen from us. Many of our children have fallen prey to the lust of this world, to drugs and other substances. Our country lies in ruins. It's in destruction. We see crime all around us. We see destruction and poverty. We see a lack of love. So I want to appeal to you, if we are going to overcome these things and these attacks of the enemy, we need to pray. I'd like to end today with this prayer that the Lord had taught us. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those that sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
Thank you.